hey guys and welcome back to my channel it's your girl jasmine if you're new here welcome so um this video basically is gonna be a weekly vlog i'm really not for sure what all i'm gonna be getting into just if you would like to see whatever whatever just stay tuned Today is October the 8th, it's a Thursday, October the 8th, so we had another um, doctor's appointment today. Y'all, I was so disappointed when I went to my doctor's appointment because I actually thought that we was going to find out what the gender um, of the baby um, was today, but we didn't. Um, I'm currently 17 weeks. Let me make sure. I think I'm 17 weeks. I know I'm 17 weeks. I think I'm going to be 18 weeks. So, yes. I'm currently 17 weeks. I will be... I'm 17 weeks, 3 days. I will be 18 weeks next month, which would be classified as 5 months. So, I'll officially be 5 months um, next week. Yeah, I'll officially be 5 months next week. 5 months now, 4 more to go. So basically, y'all, and I was gonna record, but literally by the time I got in there, he literally like checked my stomach, heard the heartbeat. By the time I tried to pull out my phone to at least, you know, try to record him getting the heartbeat, he was already done. So I really didn't get to record pretty much anything for this appointment at all. Um, so, you know, basically he just gave me a rundown. Um, he felt, felt on my stomach. So baby is growing good. I'm gaining weight good. I've gained four pounds since my last appointment, which he said was good. Um, the only real, real concern that I actually had is I have like, um, sharp pains or like, a, a lot a lot of pressure like down on my pelvis area which he said that was perfectly fine that means the baby's growing and just you know putting pressure down there but it's, it comes and go like I never have a pain that just stays um so he stayed you know long as you know it's something that comes and goes I'm pretty much fine long is not a constant pain you know well let's, yeah long it's not a constant pain everything is good if it just comes and goes then you know that's fine so that pretty much was it. By the time you know I got in there, got out, you know, got in, got out, and that that pretty much it was like um, I don't think it was a five minute appointment. Like it was over by the time I he got in, it was you know pretty much it. But everything does check out fine. I'm fine. Baby's fine. I'm back on my medication actually. Um, I tried to stop taking it. I think for like two days. Um, I was fine then after that I was back to throwing up like every time I eat so I actually had to start back taking it I think what I do now I just take it in the morning time when I get up or whenever I get up to eat first thing in the morning That's when I would take it and um, I try not to take it anymore I would just eat because now I have noticed that I'm I eat more than what I normally eat, so I can eat one time, and I would say about 45 minutes. The next 45 minutes, I'm hungry again, so um, I just try not to take it anymore. I um, mean, that actually has been doing good. I've and maybe I will take it one or two times a day because the medicine that I'm on actually does make me sleepy, so it's very hard to be. It's very hard to stay functional. Um, taking that medication. So, I try to take it at least in the morning, and if I'm up, you know, doing stuff, then that's fine. So, that's pretty much, that's pretty much that. Um, I'm not going to do a gender reveal. Um, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to find out, and then I'm going to put like a little, uh, happy, or whatever together for, um, my people, and then let them know what the gender is that way. Um, I actually got like some cups, some grandma cups or, you know, whatever for my mom, my grandmother and my sister. And then we got one for AJ's, 
Um, mom, I didn't get anything for my brothers. For my brothers, I didn't get anything for my brother, my granddaddy, nor my uncle, because I mean. Men don't care about stuff like that. You just tell them what it is and they fine. But I want to do something special for the ladies. So, my sister, my mama, my grandma, and AJ moms, we have something for them. We're going to make it for them when we tell them what the gender of the baby is. Like, so, um, according to the doctor, we won't find out what the gender of baby Jones will be until our next appointment. So, I guess that will be AJ's birthday gift because we find out the day before his birthday. So, whether he's going to son or daughter, we'll find that out the day before his birthday. So, that will be his birthday gift. Um, I can, um, I hear, not hear, um, I feel more kicks and I can feel the baby moving um, more. At first, I guess I really didn't know what I was feeling, but as time went on, it feels like little flutters or you getting butterflies in your stomach. Um, after asking the doctor, he told me, like, you know, that was what I was feeling. Because at first I didn't know what it was. So, apparently, you know, I have a mover on my hands because they move all the time. Actually, I've been moving all day today. And normally, I don't feel a lot of movement during the day. It's mostly at nighttime when I'm trying to go to sleep. But today, baby has been very, very active. So... That I just want to give you guys a pregnancy update. Oh, yeah. I want to talk about my... Should I talk about that doula now? Or should I wait until I'm actually going... It's time. I guess I can go ahead and talk about my um, a doula with you guys. So, I plan on... It's my plan. I plan on doing a natural birth, home birth, water... Natural birth, home birth, water birth, whatever you guys want to call it. That's my plan as of right now. Hopefully nothing goes wrong that will interrupt that plan. But I want to do a natural birth. I've been taught I didn't want to do a water birth since I was a little kid. So I've contacted a couple of doulas. You know, of course I have to do some um, interviews on them just to make sure they're the right fit for us. Um, and then we have to, um, you know, go through, try to find a midwife too. Because you need both midwives and a doulas. Um, hopefully, once we get ready to do the interviews, one of the Abdul Abdullahs that I've contacted, she's on call at this moment, um, for another home birth. So, she actually, you know, we can't schedule anything with her until after that birth. So, hopefully, I'm hoping within the next couple of weeks, we can schedule something with her. We can do an interview. I can record it for you guys because she does offer a lot of great things. You know, if you are looking into doing that, um, you don't have to do a home birth and have a, a doula. They will go to the hospital with you. It's just somebody that's more hands on than you have at the doctor's office. You know, normally, you know, you go to the hospital, they're in and out, but there's just nobody with you throughout that process. You know, normally your nurses and stuff come in right when it's time to push. They come in and out to check on you, but, you know, they're there right when you push. And it's just a good support just there all the time. And then with the pandemic going on, I wouldn't, I would only be able to have one person in there with me. And I'm sure, you know, by March, it'll still be going on. So, I will only have one person in there with me, which will be AJ. But, of course, I will at least, you know, I want my mom and my grandma in there with me. Preferably my grandma. Cause I want more than one, more than AJ in there with me. Um, so, with me, if I'm with, with me doing it at home, of course, I will have more support than just him. It'll, you know, it'll be more family members in there. Which that is what I'm hoping for. So I'm, um, of course, my grandparents are not for it, but what else? So hopefully, within the next couple of weeks, we can get an interview in with the ladies. Um, of course, I will record it for you guys, and then um, I have to do midwives interview as well. Um, so hopefully, fingers crossed. Hopefully that um. That's what, that's what, that's the plan. Um, 
I do have some more videos ideas for you guys. I think I want to do, I know I'm going to do a maintenance um, video probably the next time I go back and get my hair done, which is in another week. Um, I have to go get, you know, another silk press. I'm going every two weeks. I'm, going, I'm making it my business every two weeks to go get my hair done up until January. Now, January... We back to the weave, long weave, but up until then, and then the hair salon. And I'm definitely going to record that because I didn't get to record last time because, my, of course, my battery had died on my camera. But I'm definitely going to record this time plus my maintenance video. Um, So that will be my hair, nails, toes, eyebrow wax. Probably going to do a little retail therapy because I really haven't been doing any shopping. I know I'm going makeup shopping because I haven't, I actually haven't, um, I haven't put on makeup probably since I've been pregnant, honestly. I don't think I haven't had on any makeup since pregnant. I, I need to go through my makeup to throw away a lot of stuff that I haven't used in a while. I'm not going to use or it's already old. That's why I need to do it. I'm probably going to do that tomorrow. So that will be in this video. You guys are actually how much makeup I have at the beginning. So yeah, let me tell you something. So I'm in the mall. And literally no one had a mask. Well, if some people had a mask on. But what's going on? Brown is definitely still out there. Why y'all ain't wearing your mask? I did have mine on. I just took it off. Y'all, it's just, I don't know. Y'all think sis gone, she not gone at all. Y'all, let me tell y'all. So, it has been raining today. Hair very much is in a ponytail. So, Bath and Body Works had a sale. <laughs> and let me tell you, sis very much wrapped up. I think now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go buy, uh, okay, that's better. This is very much blind as well. I'm going to go buy, um, I think it's the Ulta. I'm going to go buy Ulta because I need to go makeup shopping. And also with me needing to go makeup shopping, I also need I need to clean out my makeup bag so that's what I'm gonna do today wait a minute boo so I'm going to go I'm gonna go makeup shopping and then I'm So guys, so far, this is, so far, this is where we are. Um, I'm keeping though, everything in that pile, I'm keeping that. I have some two sponges right there that I need to clean. And then I'm keeping all of that stuff because most of that is like um, palettes. So I'm keeping all of my palettes even though I normally just do the same. I looks. But I'm keeping my palettes and then I'm getting rid of, of I'm getting rid of this whole pile. So that's that's where we're at right now. I'm gonna put everything back up in my makeup box. I'm gonna set up my um stand somewhere because uh where I start, I guess doing my makeup at that's where I'm gonna put my stand at because I'm actually gonna put the makeup that I use all the time on my stand. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. Once I get all of that situated, it's smooth sailing from there. So, basically, what I need to get, um, definitely need to get some, I definitely need to get, um, eyeliner, foundation, and some concealer, and mascara. Definitely need to get those. I'm good on the palettes because <laughs> I have palettes that I haven't even touched yet. So I'm good on the palettes. Yeah. Let's get, get those few items. 
and I should be good. I'm glad I didn't get that big thing of um, spray because I have like two or three um, all-nighter setting spray that I like oh, started using one, didn't finish. So I got like two or three of those. I'm glad I didn't get any big thing of setting spray. So that's basically, that's basically it. Um, I'm gonna finish up and then I'll catch up. Fall on me, fall on me.